Germany is building an armoured vehicle and tank factory in Ukraine. Rheinmetall, one of the largest manufacturers of military equipment and weapons in Germany and Europe, will open an armoured vehicle plant in Ukraine within the next 12 weeks, Armin Paperja, CEO of the company, said in an interview with CNN. Germany's biggest arms maker will also train Ukrainians to maintain the tanks and other armoured vehicles made in the factory, which will be located in the western part of the country, he said. Ukrainians have to help themselves. If they always have to wait for Europeans or Americans to help them over the next 10 or 20 years, that is not possible, he said. In early 2023, Rheinmetall, the re-niche post-edition that it hoped to open a 218 million US dollars battle tank plant in Ukraine that could produce about 400 tanks a year. Papega said that factory workers would build and repair Rheinmetall's Fuchs armored personnel carrier, named after the German word for fox, under license in the facility. Rheinmetall will operate the plant in partnership with Ukro Boronprom, a Ukrainian state-owned defense group which will also own the facility. In May, the companies announced an agreement to boost Ukraine's defense technology capabilities, the report reads. Commenting on possible Russian attacks on the plant, Papega said that there were many factories producing military products in Ukraine. This is just another one of them, and we can protect it, he added. The Rheinmetall CEO noted that at present, providing the Ukrainian army with ammunition is a higher priority than building new tanks. In 2024, the company will increase the annual production of artillery shells from 100,000 to 600,000. Most of these products will be destined for delivery to Ukraine. According to Papega, his company can provide 60% of the artillery ammunition needed by Ukraine.